Where EMS is really starting to feature is in the rise of e-commerce. As both buyers and sellers get more power in their decision making around the services that they use, tracking and speed and affordability are prominent in their decision making process and EMS obviously features because of the service that we provide. I think EMS has a number of challenges. Um, the most primary challenge that we face as postal operators is the second leg with the airlines. It has become, if you like, our black hole. Postal operators in leg one and leg three have a great accountability to the service and to the product. And the airlines, it's how we bring them into that end-to-end -end service to create a quality network end-to-end. Other challenges that EMS faces is how it competes in a modern world where the barriers to entry are lowering for our competitors to offer tracked services at affordable rates and that our integrated competitors continue to build their networks. Um, together in the EMS cooperative, our challenge is to bring 175 members together to build a quality network that delivers on our customer expectations. The EMS business plan is about setting a blueprint for the future and that future relies on all of the members joining together and working together to create that quality network based on speed and affordability. But primary to the entire business plan is our ability to build a reliable network based on quality providers both at origin and at destination for our customers.